You know, there, I was reading in the journals and diaries of our founders, and I was reading one of my favorite authors, and that's of the wife of our second president, our second president, John Adams. And Abigail Adams wrote in her journals and her diaries and her letters a very personal insight. And she said this. She said, after all we've done, after all that's happened, I wonder if generations unborn will ever know what was done for them. The sacrifice, the toil, the blood, the treasure, the heartache, what was spent to secure their liberty and their freedom. She knew that it was worth the cost. The founders knew that it was worth the cost. And think of where you stand. You literally stand with us on hallowed ground. This is hallowed ground of freedom.
and it was a true patriot, a true national treasure. As a matter of fact, he started a movie called National Treasure. Would you please help me welcome Mr. John Boyd? proud to be among you brave, concerned, patriotic American citizens. And I brought, I brought a, two other folks with me on, on the trek from Los Angeles, and, I, and the first, and I'd just like to have them say a word or two to you, a dear friend of mine, uh, a small business owner who represent, who is representative of all the small business owners around our country who are suffering in one form or another. Okay. He has a special story to tell. I'd like to have Shalom Berkman just step forward and say hello. Great to be here. It's an honor. I'm here to represent or on behalf of small businesses, entrepreneurs that make the backbone of America. They say that there's an economic crisis like none other from the Great Depression. So what do you do during an economic crisis? Do you grow government? No! no. Do you penalize small businesses? No! no. Do you cut government, government spending? Yes! And you focus on small business and jobs? Yes! My wife, Gila, escaped Iran when she was 19 years old. She climbed through the muddy Turkish mountains and she came here with no possessions. Now she owns a business and she supports 300 families. Wow. Yeah. This is the American dream. Yeah. Yeah. And we want that dream to continue. So we're here to support these brave congressional people that are going to stop this health care bill. God bless you. God bless America. Land of the free, home of the brave. Yeah. Yeah. And now another friend of mine. Your children may know him as Ham the Pig oh. from Toy Story. Others may know him as the creator of an environmental packaging system that replaces styrofoam or as an author. Others simply know him as Cliff from Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, John Ratzenberger. Thank you. Thank you. I'm certainly humbled to be here as the son of a truck driver and factory worker from Bridgeport, Connecticut. So it really is quite an honor. And uh, what we have to remember is for every working man and woman in our great country that these people that are trying to force this health care bill upon us are not the philosophical descendants of John Kennedy and Tip O'Neill. No. They're the philosophical descendants of Abby Hoffman, Saul Alinsky, and Wayne Gray. Yeah. These, are, these are Woodstock Democrats. And let me explain what I mean by that. I was actually at Woodstock. I was a tractor driver. I helped build the stage with the carpentry skills I had. What's that? <laughs> Max Yasko's farm, that's right. But when it started raining and everything fell apart because nobody was prepared, it was misery. It was a mess. And the very people that they railed against in their philosophical outlook on life, the military and the government, yeah. With the very people, at the sound of the helicopters coming over the hill, it was the National Guard that saved Woodstock. Oh, wow. It's the very people they're against yep. that are saving them still to yep. this day. Yep. We have to remember that. We have to remember where their philosophy comes. It doesn't come from America. It comes from overseas. It comes from socialism. Yeah. Socialism 
is a philosophy of failure, the creed of ignorance, and the gospel of envy. Its inherent virtue is the equal sharing of misery. And I've got to thank Winston Churchill for that quote. And I want to thank you all for being here. God bless us all. I hadn't heard that one from Winston. People sharing a misery.